the purpose of this video is just to show you the um, what the equivalence point looks like, what the color change of an indicator looks like at the equivalence point. A single drop, if you do your titration properly, a single drop at the equivalence point is enough, sorry, at the end point rather for your indicator, is enough to completely change the color of your of your flask, of the solution in the flask, the, the mixture of your titrant and your analyte. So what we have here is an acid. It's around the same concentration as my base here, my acid and my base, and it's bromothymol blue. So just gonna add a drop. That should be what you're looking for when you're doing a titration. That single drop that changes the color of your entire indicator. If I add one more drop, this is what bromothymol blue looks like. At this is, currently it's neutral because it's sort of green. It's like a mixture, or it's not green, it's like a, a dark yellow because it's a mixture of yellow, which is acidic, and um, purple, which is basic. And if I added one more drop, completely this is now overshot so we've overshot our endpoint um, because it looks too yellow we're aiming for that green color so when doing a titration at the endpoint of your indicator that single last drop should be enough to completely um, change the color of the mixture in your flask here we have phenolphthalein very close to the equivalence point it's slightly acidic because, as you can see, it's clear. So phenolphthalein, um, as you know, pH is below 8, uh, it'll be clear. And pH is above 10, it'll turn a, a colour called fuchsia, a deep fuchsia. In the big beaker, we have a base, sodium hydroxide. And in the small beaker, we have um, hyd hyd hydrogen, hydrogen chloride solution. Hydrochloric acid. <laughs> so they're about equal concentrations. But at a single drop... turns pink. Right. If I add one more drop just to indicate the overshoot, this is pretty much the equivalence point. So during a titration this is what you should aim to see is just this, um, uh, well obviously you wait for the colour change to, nope, actually I need, I need one more drop. need one more drop. And hopefully this one drop is enough to permanently change the colour. Okay, you have to let it let it settle a bit, right? stir it a bit. Also, if I was doing this titration properly, I would also get the um, the distilled water bottle and give it a, just a rinse along the sides, just to ensure that I'm not missing any moles of um, of the acid. Sorry, of the base or the acid or whatever. Um, one more drop, and that should lead to a permanent color change. Okay. And I'm pretty sure this will be permanent. Okay. So, when doing a titration, the um, it'll come down to one, two, or three drops. Just those last two or three drops should be enough to do a complete color change. And that is where your end point is. That's where your equivalent point, equivalence point is if you chose, if you chose your indicator appropri appropriately. Okay. Uh, let me just uh, show you one more. So, one is enough to turn it clear, clear as water, after one drop of the acid. So the acid is slightly more concentrated than my base. Two, two drops. Results in a permanent colour change into the fuchsia. One drop. enough to turn it clear. Maybe one more drop. Oh, no, it's still, it's still turning. Got to be a bit patient. Completely clear. Mm, it's a very, very slight tinge of pink, but that's okay. That's also um, pretty much that. That is the equivalence point.